Hello, welcome to Aston Pharmacy School. My name is Dr. Raj Baden. I am an academic here in the School of Pharmacy. I'm a lecturer in pharmacokinetics. I'd like to introduce you to one of our main teaching labs. This lab is used across all four years of the pharmacy program. And within this lab, we do lots of research and teaching related to the design and the development of drugs, medicines, and formulation systems. When thinking about a pharmacist, the job of a pharmacist involves supplying medicines to patients. However, as a pharmacist, we must also understand everything about that medicine that we supply to patients. So we have to understand the science. The science is critical. In a lab like this, pharmacists will be involved in manufacturing tablets, capsules, sprays and creams. And these are the delivery systems that we give to patients when we're delivering a medicine to a patient. So the most common way in which we deliver medicines to patients is through tablets. And in a facility like this, you can play a role in manufacturing tablets. And this is an example of a tablet press. And with this apparatus, we will take a mixture of our medicine and we will compress it in a very precise and scientific way to formulate tablets. After we formulated our tablets, it's critical to ensure that our tablets are stable that they're manufactured correctly. And as a pharmacist, we play a major role in assessing the quality of the formulations that we manufacture. An example is demonstrated here where we have tablets that have been formulated and this apparatus is used to assess the stability and the compactness of the tablet. And within this apparatus, the machine will continuously drop the tablets down to assess how stable and firm the formulations are. Now assessing the stability of a tablet is one thing, but making sure it actually functions inside the human body is another thing altogether. Now unfortunately, it's very difficult to examine how a tablet degrades in the human body. It's very difficult to put a camera down somebody's throat and into their stomach and examine this. So instead, as a pharmacist, what we do is use apparatus like this, and these are called dissolution vessels. Each one of these chambers represent the stomach. And with apparatus like this, we can pop our tablets in and we can look at how our tablets break down under different conditions. So we can look at a very acidic condition or very alkaline condition. And we can look at how our tablets degrade, break down and release drug. And with apparatus like this, we will often take samples of the liquid from here and we will then go on to further analyse these to look at how quickly our medicine is released from the tablets. So once we've tested our tablets for the stability, once we've tested our tablets for how they release drug in our stomach, the final step is to then assess the chemical composition of that drug to make sure that the drug is still stable, to make sure when the drug's released from the formulation, it hasn't degraded. In order to do that, we use an apparatus like this, which is called the High Performance Liquid Chromatogram, or HPLC for short. This machine, will take samples of our drug and it will chemically analyze the samples to make sure that our drug is still in intact, stable, and hasn't broken down. A really good application for this is to look at drugs in storage. So medicines, when they're stored on pharmacy shelves, they have a shelf life, a defined shelf life. You will know how long you can keep that medicine for before it goes off. Using a, a piece of apparatus like this, we can get some understanding of how quickly it takes for our drug product to degrade. Being a pharmacist is not just about handing medicines out, it's about having a really critical and in-depth understanding of the science behind the medicines that we supply to our patients. On a pharmacy degree programme, we teach you all about the healthcare, but we also teach you about the sciences. And in a lab like this, you'll have extensive experience at designing, developing and producing new drugs and new medicines.